Hi everybody, it's Avalon. I have to vent right now, guys. I am so beside myself, disgusted right now. I have a friend who I was in a halfway house with um, five, six years ago. And um, she has been a chronic relapse, or she's an alcoholic. She celebrated two years, five days ago. Works in recovery, in a recovery-related agency. Has her own, she's worked her heart, her ass off getting her own home, getting her car, getting her license back, finding this job. And I see that she posts on Facebook. Well, well, no, let's back up. She called me earlier and said that, I don't know, some problem came up in her life. And um, I just read on Facebook. Well, there goes two years and five days. So I message her. What do you mean there goes two years and five days? She says, I think you know what that means. Are you kidding me right now? You're going to relapse. I'm just baffled. I'm baffled. So you know what I wrote back? Are you kidding me? Is what I said. And, well, if you want a reason, you'll always find one. There's always going to be a reason to relapse. Like I said in my video the other day, life gets lifey. And if you want to find a reason, you're going to find one. There's always going to be something that pops up. That, oh, I can't take it anymore. Or, oh, oh, I'm tired of trying. Or, oh, life is just against me. Oh, I'm just so tired of trying. You know what? Two years. Thrown away. By a choice. A moment's choice in frustration. I don't believe it's that. I think. I think. She was waiting for a reason. That's what I think. I put my heart and soul into friendships. And, you know, I'm there when... To, I, I've taught her out of using so many times, guys. I have tried my best to be there for her. I've talked her down, I don't know how many times, from using. And took time out to, you know, an, an emotional strength and everything to help her. And she just freaking, she calls me earlier. I try to, you know, say, you know, this isn't as bad as what it seems, blah, blah, blah. I mean, one of the reasons why I will not be in, I will not work in the, in this field. I will not, um, I, because I, I get frustrated at how easily people throw their sobrieties away, how they don't listen to, they ask you for advice, but they don't take it. They ask you for your opinion and they don't take your advice, you know, they do what they want. And I cannot continue to put my strength and, and hope out there and it just, and, and it for, be for nothing. Because I get, I'm mad. Like, I'm mad. I'm mad at the stupidity. She has a granddaughter. It's about Michael's age. About three years old. You know? Just threw it away. Just threw her away. Her kids find out she's drinking again. Her, she's, her, you know? And so...
Think long and hard before you make that choice to go back. I don't know that I'm going to continue on having a relationship with this woman. I've cut her off in the in the six I think six years I've that I've known her twice for months at a time because I get so frustrated that instead of just going off on her and you know I I just back off I block her and I just I I need to take a break and then then she finds a way to contact me and I get sucked back in allow myself to get sucked back in and you know because I don't want to I don't want to give up on people I don't want to think people are hopeless um but I can't continue how uh, how much like are how are how are we how much are we obligated to always just give of ourselves and give and give and give and give and then just be let down each time I you know I I just don't want to do it anymore I just don't so I just wanted to vent I just I just you know I just want you to see that you know there's people that care about us and when we make those kind of decisions and those choices you know it affects other people and I'm hurt and I'm frustrated I'm angry I'm disappointed um and and so would so many people if I were to decide to make that choice and if you were to decide to make that choice, stay strong today, guys. For his blessings and God is blessed.